Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. Okay, first of all, you, the the immigration laws in Canada are different than the immigration laws in the U.S. You cannot combine the two or think the two are the same. Uh, if you have a B-2 visitor visa for the U.S., uh, then, of course, that allows you to come here, visit, say hello, uh, vacation, and then leave. Um, whatever your study permit in Canada is or is not, that is essentially their business. And if you don't have authorization to stay there, then, you know, theoretically, you can come in on a B-2 on the U.S., but you, of course, will have to prove your intent to return to your home country at the time that that is completed now if you know you just finished up your stay in Canada and you're essentially trying to seek some kind of refuge in the US because you don't have anywhere else to go that's not going to qualify for a B2 uh, you of course could try to get an F1 uh, that would allow you to study in the US uh, or you could apply for some work permit depending what you qualify and depending if you have a sponsor in the US um, but uh, all of that is dependent upon uh, several factors in your particular case. Okay.